Hi, welcome to my Wednesday walk. My name is Jody Comfort and I'm the founder of Next Generation Yoga. And it's been two weeks since my dog Chance has transitioned. And what I wanted to share with you today is how I've been feeling and the things that I've been doing and experiencing which have helped me in my healing process. So the first thing is that I've been walking. So the day after Chance transitioned, I heard in my meditation, keep on walking. So every day I have been waking up and taking walks at some point throughout the day. And a lot of them have been down to the beaches where Chance and I spent a lot of time. But it feels really um, a nice way for me to still get my body moving and still you know, have that ritual of a daily walk. The second thing that I've been doing a lot of is yoga, and as a yoga teacher, um, that might sound strange to you, but I've really made it, um, it might not sound strange to you actually, but I've really made it a point to get to a yoga class every single day, and that's really um, been helpful for me to really unite my body and my mind and spirit, and um, my body actually feels really good because I've been getting to so many yoga classes. The third thing that I've really consciously been doing is spending time in nature. I've probably spent, you know, more time at the beach, you know, come check out sunset more frequently than I have in a long time. I've gotten out to the woods and been on a lot of hikes lately, and that's just because being in nature really helps me to feel connected to spirit and, of course, helps me to feel connected to chance. I've also been um, spending a lot of time with, with good friends. Um, and friends that are that are nourishing for me that really help um, my process. So friends that I feel safe with, and friends that um, are really um, understand what I'm going through, and that just are really nourishing, so that um, I can be myself and not have to withhold um, my experience of what I'm going through if I want to be sad or or not. So um, having those good friends around has also been very helpful. And then. The other thing that I've been doing a lot of, at least daily, is um, I created this beautiful altar in my home, which has um, Chance's collars and his leash, and it now has his ashes, and a lot of pictures, and um, I have two candles on there, um, two pillar candles symbolizing the number 11 um, for Chance since he was 11 years old, and I've been sitting at this altar, and as you can imagine, my house is, is quiet, and I've been sitting in the silence and just allowing whatever is coming up for me to come up and to just be in either the sadness, allowing myself to cry, to be in the silence, allowing myself to connect with his photos. And that feels really good to me. And I'm not sure how long I'll keep the altar up or you know, when I'll take it down, but for right now, I'm allowing myself to feel all the feelings that are coming up around this process. So I wanted to share this with you and then what I would love to do is I would love to hear from you about how you have ever experienced a loss or grief. What has been your process? What are your tools that have worked for you? And I hope that you know some of the ones that I shared are helpful for you. So please leave a comment on the blog so that we can all learn from you and if this feels inspiring to you, maybe share this video. But always know there is light inside of me. There is light inside of you, and together, we are one. Namaste. She lives with an orange tree, the girl that does yoga. She picks the dead ones from the ground when we come over. And she gives, I get, without giving anything to me. Like a morning sun, like a morning, like a morning sun. Good, good morning sun. Come over, the girl that does yoga. We 
भी ले 